can't, I can't blame nothing on her. It was my decision. I said, hey, if she can't get her order, her order together, and, you know, I'm not feeling, you know, up tight right now, I should just park right here. Go to sleep. I'm not feeling, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just not feeling right. What do you mean you're not feeling right? She, like do I said. Do you think maybe that you had too much to drink and you realized that you shouldn't drive so you parked? I mean... Would that be accurate to say? Yes, sir. Mr. Ralph, yes. Alright, so your girlfriend dropped you off, you got into the car, I you backed out, and you pulled call up, her. and you're like, damn, I'm too drunk to drive, and so you pull back into the parking spot and park. Right? I call her and like, bang. Oh, is that accurate? If, 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 if it, it's a couple moments I got on the phone with her. Yeah. I'm like, babe, hey, damn, you know, um, you want number one or number two or... But She's like, would babe, you would you agree? You uh, you take care of that. You're a man. You figure out what we're going to eat tonight. All right, All right. let's move past that. Would you agree that you've had too much to drink to drive? I mean, I can focus, Mr. Ralph. I can focus. Would you agree that you've had too much to drink to I, drive? I haven't had, you know, to the point where I can't focus. Okay. I was a little tired ahead of the day because we just came from North Carolina. Do you think that you're safe to operate a vehicle right Absolutely, now? Mr. Ross. And how much have you had to drink? I had two margar uh, one and a half margaritas, Mr. Ross. One and a half margaritas? Yes, sir. Margaritas? Yes. Have you had anything else today? Any other type of drink? No, sir. You haven't had any daiquiris? I haven't had no daiquiri. I had one and a half little small cups of margarita. But margarita. I can. I'm up now. Y'all got me up with this. Got gotcha. you up. I'm up now. I got if you. I, if hey, will you take a preliminary breath test for me? Uh, what's what's that? It's a little handheld machine. I have you blow into it, and then lets me know if you're uh, positive or negative for the presence of alcohol in your breath. I've I've been drinking. Okay. I I, I do um say that. Okay. But I'm only going a few minutes down the road. I got you. Off. I'm just asking. Will you take a preliminary breath test for me? I mean, I I don't know what it is. I just said it's a little handheld machine. Let me know if it's positive or, or negative for the presence of alcohol. It's part of my investigation. You know it is the presence. I've I know. Been drinking. I know. I can tell. It's just part of my investigation. But it's like just, I said, listen, I, listen, I, listen. if I have to park this car right here right now, Hold on. It's, it's just a yes or no. I don't. We don't need to go back and forth about it. It's just a yes or no. But what if I what if I take this test and I, I don't care about. I can walk home. Why I don't have you? to. I don't have to. Park. Why, would, Why would you walk home? I just don't want to be in violation of anybody. I can walk my my sister's house is right here. Do you think that you'd be in violation of something if you if, if you were to drive your vehicle? If if you know if that's less possible for me to park here, lock the car up, and do everything that I need to do within the presence of you guys. I can just go home. I have my daughter's there right now. My three, my daughter's birthday was yesterday. All right. Hold on, Miss Brooks. Will you take a preliminary breath test for me? Is it yes or no? I don't want to refuse anything. Uh, it's yes or no. It's completely up to you. Yes, I will. Okay. Just wait here while I grab. Oh, man. So, just trying to make sure, man, you're safe to drive, that's all. I know, man. I just... You, you, you scared me a little bit because you were sleeping in there, so that's, you know, why I was making sure you're okay. You know, and then that's... I know, I know. You're just doing your job. All right, just take a deep breath in. Put your mouth over the mouthpiece. Blow as hard as you can until I tell you to stop. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Very good. I just uh, had a, a few drinks. That's it. How many? One and a half. Like I said... I was into the second cup. I wasn't even. I told her, "Babe, let's go," because I'm hungry. I what need what to kind eat. of drinks did you have? Uh, I'm not sure. It's something she ordered. She said top shelf or whatever. Top shelf what? I'm not sure. It was like I said. It was her birthday, and it was my daughter's birthday. Intent to you know have a good time, and I said, "Babe, you know I'm hungry. Let's go." My 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 baby's mom. She was there. I said, "Babe." Go ahead. I'm um, cool. You know, here's the money for the blow up bed tomorrow. Here's the money for, you know, to enjoy herself tomorrow. Just, you know, give me a burger or 
or something. Or right. Just take me home. I'm ready to go. So you had about one and a half drinks, but you don't remember what kind of drinks they were? No, sir. All right. I really don't, Mr. All right. I think you've had too much to drink to be driving. Put your hands behind your back for me. Here, put your hands behind your back. Hey, hey, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. You're gonna get tased! You're gonna get tased! Stop! Mr. Wall! Stop! You're gonna get tased! Mr. Wall! Hey, Hands off the taser! Stop fighting! Hands off the taser! Stop fighting! Stop fighting! I'm sticky three. Man, that's messed up, man.